What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And I am here today to do my Q&A slash my day one predictions video. And I guess the Usos got a pay-per-view named after them because remember in 2017, down since day one-ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be quiet. This is probably one of the pay reviews I am most looking forward to. Because th this is a stacked card. Th this is like the stacked card from like Crown Jewel 2021. That's how hyped I am for this. And it is the cancellation of TLC. So, boring that. But, to start off my q and I have one question. What are your recent pickups from my buddy Michael? Thank you for the question, my dude. Um, I have a lot. I have, I have this much. Um, to, to, to start off my pickups, I have Spider-Man Far From Home with Tom Holland, MJ, N Nick Fury, Mysterio, and Happy. And you, and you, and you open it up, you have a great disc. With, with Spider-Man on, like, a roof. And then probably one of the best backings for a Spider-Man film with Tom Holland in it is this. Because this because this takes place right after Endgame. And with the Iron Man on the wall. And then you just have Tom Holland right there. So, I got Spider-Man, Far From Home. <coughs> I got, now I got Money in the Bank 2021. Yes, guys, it, it, it is a spoiler cover. But why couldn't you just put, like, Roman and Edge on the cover? Why? Because... As you can see, they they spoil John Cena's thing twice. The, the Summer of Cena. Right there. John Cena returns to confront Roman Reigns. But I got a blue Otis card. And I, and I love that disc artwork right there. With the money flying out. So I got money in the bank. Then I got <clears throat> the history of the WWE Championship for five bucks from V Stock, and it and it comes with this great insert from Buddy Rogers to and then like all the champions from like Buddy Rogers, like I said, to two thousand six. With Rob Van Dam. So, yeah. Um, this will this will definitely get a review. So, watch out for that. Um, this this spans from 1971 to to Vengeance from in 2005. So I got the history of the the history of the WWE title championship. Same thing. Then I got Eric Bischoff, Sports Entertainment's most controversial figure. I got it for ten bucks. And and yes, guys, this is the documentary. And and then on disc two, you get the JBL and Cole show. 
um, part part one and part two. So that's gonna be awesome to watch. And then like you get like moments and stories on disc two and disc three. So I got the the Eric Bischoff DVD. And and then when I went the first time to V Stock to get these, I was looking for the for for the Amazing Spider Man films, and they didn't have them. But what? But but when I was leaving, they had it, and it just came in. So like they had to scan it through. And, like, put a price tag on it. So, they said, come back in, like, a couple hours. And then, later tonight. So, I did. And got this. It is a... Blu-ray 3D. Blu-ray DVD and digital HD. And here is the, the back of it. But it is a like a steel book, and, and you have Spider Man and and Electro right there. But it's a steel book. You get the three D version, the 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 Blu Ray and the DVD. And then you get like a little comic book here. So, yeah. And then for my unboxings that I did earlier today, I got Judgment Day 2005 with John Cena on the cover with him not wearing the belt and then just him with a reflection. But I got this for the WWE I Quit match for the WWE Championship. John Cena vs. JBL, and I also got it for Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero from 2005. This is a beautiful insert, by the way. And then just John Cena right there. And then I also got <clears throat> the Royal Rumble 2006. You have the, the McMahons on the cover. You have Shane, Linda, Stephanie, and Vince. Then you also have Kurt Angle and versus Mark Henry, John Cena, and Edge. And then you have the disc. This is all decked out with Vince on it. You have you have Vince on the insert. You have Vince on the disc. And you also have the McMahons on the back. So I got. Royal Rumble 06. So, let's get to the day one predictions. So, here is the poster. So, you have on the pre-show, you have Cesaro and R Ricochet. Versus Ridge Holland and Sheamus. So I guess I found Tom Holland's dad. He is a wrestler named Ridge Holland. No, bro. I, bro, guys, I'm just joking. But <laughs> I am picking Cesaro and Ricochet to win this tag team match. This is probably going to... I don't know, but th but but this is gonna be a good match. Then you have um, RK Bro versus the Street Profits, and if you don't know how the Street Profits got into this match, there there was a RK Brodement to figure out the number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team Championships. I wanted the Mysterios to win on, like, on Raw last week. But, they didn't. And, 
For that reason, I hate the Street Profits. I'm going with RK Bro to retain the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. And then you have Drew McIntyre versus Madcap Moss. Happy Corbin's assistant. Why is this not on the pre-show? Hmm? I would love to see Cesaro and Ricochet versus Rich Holland and Sheamus on the main card and put this match on the pre-show. But I'm going with Drew McIntyre because he's going to use his sword somehow to win. So I, so I don't care about this match at all. There are four matches I care, care about on this show. And this is going to be one of them. Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. Here is... Back in the day when, when I started watching wrestling, I couldn't care less for the women's matches. Because they went about three to five minutes. But now we have Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey, and Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 35 main eventing... And then we have Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair main eventing night one at WrestleMania 37. Now I love women's wrestling. Besides on Monday Night Raw. I cannot, I cannot watch a three hour show anymore. I get tired. But Liv Morgan is going to win this match and become the new Raw Women's Champion. Because Liv Morgan has been getting more TV time on Raw and on pay-per-views. And, <coughs> and on the mic. The reason why there is a, um, a rematch is because Becky Lynch cheated to win. She grabbed the ropes to ensure one, two, three. I am picking Liv Morgan to win this match. To become the new Raw Women's Champion, champion because she deserves it. She finally deserves it. So now we're going to Edge versus The Miz. Now, The Miz... Wait, what? Sorry. Now, Edge has been on the roll of his life in 2021, winning the Royal Rumble, losing to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 37, and then losing at Money in the Bank. Where is it? Because... Of Seth Rollins. But. He, he has momentum back. When he faced Seth Rollins. At S SummerSlam. Best match. The, the best match. And then at Crown Jewel. He faced Seth Rollins again. In a Hell in the Cell match. And he won the match. He is great in this era of his career so i am picking edge edge to win this match <coughs> but 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 do you think that maurice interferes in the match and we get edge and beth phoenix beth phoenix returning to in-ring action for a mixed tag team match Against The Miz and Maurice, like Brian Danielson did with Brie Bella in 2018. Do you think that will happen? But, again, I am picking Edge to win this. I'm just thinking that that might be a scenario in this feud. Because it is going well. Um, then we have the Usos. 
Named after this pay-per-view, day one-ish. No. But, in, in 2017, is, is right where I'm going with this. Because we have the Usos versus The New Day. This is a great feud back in the day. These, these four men can put on a match. And it might be a two-star or a three-star. It will always turn into a five-star. Because they are the men to do it. These are probably the two best tag teams in in WWE today. In, in 2017, we had them at SummerSlam. Hell in the Cell. That Hell in the Cell match was in 2017. And it is still on my mind. That was a great match. But I think I have to go with the Usos to retain the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Because they, like Roman Reigns, are on a roll of their life. <coughs> now, the co-main event of the show. Biggie, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and Bobby Trashley. <gasps> Wait. Bobby Lashley. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. But there is no way Bobby Lashley is going to win this match. So he is getting taken out of the match. For, for, for me, at least. I have two men who could win this match. B now, Big E is not winning this match at all. Big E has had a good title run, but also a bad one. He, ha he had a good match at Survivor Series. That's about it. He, he has not defended this championship, at least against Bobby Lashley. That's it. So the the first com the first competitor I'm going for is Kevin Owens because he just re-signed with 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 WWE and I think he is going to win because he is going to go to the Royal Rumble where I am going to be and is going to win and it, it and it is going to be great. So because Sami Zayn will all, has also resigned since since Kevin Owens resigned, but if 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 Kevin Owens does not win I'm going for Seth Rollins because I want to see Seth Rollins face Roman Reigns again. And if you guys cannot hear that, those are fireworks since it is New Year's Eve. So Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns is a great match. Um, I want to see them face at Survivor Series 2022. I think Roman Reigns will hold the title that long. So, Seth Rollins or, or Kevin Owens for the win here. And now we get to the main event. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Where does Paul Heyman's loyalty lie? Now you're probably saying Patrick, he he's Roman Reigns. Superman punched him in the face on fr last Friday. <clears throat> I know that, but I think, but, sorry, 
I think it is a swerve. I I really do. There's no one take. There's no one go, going to take the Universal Championship off Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is on the roll of his life right now. He has put WWE. He pushed it through the pandemic in 2020 with rivalries against the Uso, with against Jay Uso, against Edge, against Cesaro in 2021. He is not going to lose this championship. He is going to go into the Royal Rumble, win it at the Royal Rumble, win it at the next pay-per-view, and is going to win at WrestleMania 38. There is... Because, guess what? They are the ones at day one. We are the ones at day one. So, again, I'm picking Cesaro and R Ricochet to win. Seth Rollins or Kevin Owens to become the new WWE champion. Roman Reigns to retain his Universal Championship. Because Roman Reigns has been Universal Champion for 488 days. He is surpassing Brock Lesnar's record of 503. You cannot say that he isn't. He, th this is his best character yet. He is the tribal chief. The head of the table. The bloodline. He is retaining his championship. The Usos are also retaining the championship. Edge is going to win. Liv Morgan is becoming the new Raw Women's Champion. Drew McIntyre is slashing through the competition with his sword. And RK Bro is going to retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. And guys, put your predictions down in the comments below. And this has been Patrick for Pours Unboxings. Happy New Year's Eve. And I'll see you on January 1st when I do What Did I Pick Up in 2021. This is going to be a big video tomorrow. And this has been Patrick for Pours Unboxings. And I'm out. Peace.